Hello guys, good afternoon, good, good day, how are you? So we're back again, so right now this is Oli Tao and we're back to the lecture section of this vlog of mine. So by the way guys, just to inform you, we've done already the first one, which is the five languages of love. The second one is how to suffer the pleasure and pains in life. And the third one I had I made is the scheduling the pain and um, pleasure. Now this video is all about how to develop the capacity to delay gratification. Yeah, I've been thinking for this video and luckily just just today I uh, was up to make this video. Oh. Right. So let's start, guys. Now just to review, what is delaying gratification? So, delaying gratification means um, we schedule when to relax, when to um, oh no enjoy the pleasure of the pleasure of life. Delaying gratification means we should do first our job, which makes us like burden oh no work. Then before what? we gonna enjoy the last part, where we're in we can relax. No worries, no no worries to think, cause we're done already with uh, things that challenged us. All right, so that is delaying gratification. Now. We will come to know how to develop the capacity to do education. Have you heard about discipline? Have you been slapped? Or punched? Or kicked? Or beaten? Or whipped by your parents? Yes, if you do, and if you happen to be a parent, those are disciplinary actions, but if it's too much and if you didn't know how to deal with it, it becomes a meaningless discipline. Why? Why it becomes a meaningless discipline? It becomes a meaningless di discipline because it is an undisciplined discipline. One also that makes this slap, kick, punch, bitching whip meaningless is because the parent itself hey! are unself disciplined. Oh no! So these undisciplined parents, they tend to be like, do as I say, not as I do. So what does it mean? Do as I say and not as I do. Example, say for example, they say don't drink, but they are drunk. Don't drink wine because it's bad for your health. It's not good for you. Hey. But they are the one drinking. For example, don't smoke, but they're the one they're the one holding the cigarette. Oh no! Smoking. Makes sense, right? Say be a hard working person, but they are the one procrastinating, sitting on the sofa without nothing to do. It's procrastinating, all right? They say, clean that, but then do it. Clean that one, clean that one, clean that one, clean that oh, one. Oh no! Okay. These parents, they make promises, but they don't keep it. Parents' lives are disordered and in chaos, and their attempts to fix or uh, to make the lives of their children order make no sense for their children because of those actions. When we were kids, our parents is a godlike figure to us, right? I bet you know that one. So whatever they do, it is right in our eyes. So it makes us think that it is the way to live. So role modeling is love. Sometimes in chaotic and disordered homes, there's also a genuine love that occasionally comes. So there's a possibility also that there is a child who is self-disciplined. Also, but not frequent, those professional people like doctors, lawyers, and other professionals, even if they have strict orderliness at home, but lack of love, they still have like children who are unself-disciplined. So when we love someone or something, we tend or we absolutely spend time with it, enjoying with it, and taking care of it. Say, say for example, Aww. a teenager with a car. So, the teenager spend more time with the car, polishing it, repairing it, um, whatever they do with the car, just to take time and spend time with it. Another example, old lady and rose garden. That old lady, because she loves that rose garden, she spends more time with it, fertilizing, cultivating, enjoying the rose, enjoying the how to um, manage, how to, like, yeah, make it beautiful, <laughs> arrange it, that's one. So if you love children, we spend time admiring them and taking care of them. Aww. Good discipline requires time. So as a parent, if we don't give much time to our children, we will not be aware of 
how and when we are going to give the disciplinary assistance towards our children because we don't give much time with them and, and if we notice that they do such bad actions or bad things that need disciplinary actions but we in ourselves like we say I don't have the energy to deal with them today or we brutally discipline by slapping, kicking, punching, whipping so rather than deliberation so this action will just cause so much damage to our children. Parents who spend time with their children establish genuine love Aww. and tender care towards their children. They can make some follow-ups and advices to their children on how to face this, their problem rather than running from their problem. By spending more time with them, they can like tightening here, losing a little bit here, telling stories, giving lectures, short lectures, giving hugs, kisses, also admonishments, also a little pats of the back. Loving parents also give punishments and upon giving those punishments to their children, they also suffer and eventually Aww. their children will also notice that their parents are suffering with them and so they will say, if my parents are suffering with me, they will tell themselves, then suffering is not so bad. I should also willing to suffer with myself. So this is the beginning of self-discipline. Time and quality time devoted by the parents to their children oh, no. indicates the degree of being valued by their parents. Some parents to fill in the gap of not spending time with their children, they tend to say it by words. By telling their children, we value you, by telling their children how much they are being valued. But children never been deceived by these hollow words. They may like cling with you, but uh, they know the action of their parents doesn't match with the deeds of the parents. Why is it being valued is very important? Being valued is very important to the children because it helps in their mental health and also it is a cornerstone of self-confidence. Therefore, it is a direct product of parental love. Self-discipline is self-caring. So, going back to the... So, going back to the notifications. So, it means if we feel ourselves valuable, then we feel our time is also valuable. If we feel our time to be valuable, then we will use it well. Fear of abandonment. As a child, abandonment of the parents means death for them. Children who feel valued like if parents fulfill their promises, the children will eventually feel that they are safe and they are secure. As parents to enforce discipline to make it easy, they will use this threat of abandonment. Like, I will leave you. I'll go there. So, so this means to the children, if you don't do exactly what I want, I won't love you anymore. And we all know that it means abandonment and death. So what will happen to the children? So the children will grow up feeling worried, like he's not safe, he's not secure. So with this one, with this fear of abandonment, the children will have fear in facing the future. The children will eventually think that the world is dangerous and arduous. So the children will be scared. Fear will always be with them. Again, first, how to develop the capacity to delay gratification. First, they must have a good role model. Second, they must feel a self-worth or being valued. Third, they must have a degree of trust in the safety of their existence. Alright guys, so we will end here. Thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to leave a comment below, like and share to my YouTube channel. Please um, click the bell button below for me to update you with more videos I'll be making. So we're done already with the delay notification. I'll be giving the second picnic next session or next vlog I will be making. So thank you very much. I hope I give you something that can be helpful in you in everyday life. Yes. So just comment below or you can also have my Facebook account. Add me in my Facebook account here, this one. Also, um, you can follow me in my Gmail. My Gmail is very active, this one. Alright, so I have also, um, yeah. Thank you very much, guys. Enjoy the rest of the day.